Hi, and welcome to HUDKing.com, your source for real virtual tours of HUD homes in and around the San Antonio and Houston area. I've been specializing in HUD homes since 1996, and in 2012, I started filming real virtual tours like the one you're about to watch. So connect with me by clicking on one of our social media links, or if you're watching this video on YouTube, click the subscribe button to be instantly notified of new uploaded videos. Now on to the home. We are here in Spring, Texas. Spring is located north of Houston. We are in the Colony Creek Village subdivision. We're standing in front of 9826 Orange Vale Drive. That's 9826 Orange Vale Drive. Now this is listed by HUD as a four bedroom, three bath home, approximately 2,192 square feet. It was built in 1982 and it sits on about an 8,900 square foot lot. Now the home is actually a three bedroom, unless you use this downstairs office as a bedroom, but it's not real practical and I'll show you that when we go inside. Exterior-wise is a combination of brick and it looks like the old masonite siding, which is in, in decent condition. Exterior-wise it's nice. It has some nice landscaping, which could be a really nice home. It just needs very minor touching up. It looks like they also replaced the windows throughout, which is a pretty nice upgrade. The home is about $8,000 underneath the county appraisal and it is eligible for HUD's $100 down payment incentive. You can see they accented the garage here with a little stone facade. So we're up here off of kind of the Luetta and old Luetta area. If you're familiar with Houston, you know where that is. One neat thing, it has this little gate, gated entryway here into your kind of like a little private patio. And we do have the two car detached garage here. So garage is nice. It has an ample storage high ceiling roof area so you could actually put storage stuff up there and then your water heater is out here and I like that it has a couple of windows that give you some natural lighting into the garage so that's the exterior front let's take a look at the backyard and then we will tour the inside we have these double doors that take you into the backyard it's kind of an irregularly shaped lot but still a decent size almost 9,000 square feet you have this little wooden deck here that steps up and this side of the yard is rather rather good size some of the fence obviously needs to be repaired or replaced, but that's something you can do with time. You have a 360 view there. And exterior rise, the uh, siding's in decent shape. So let's take a look at the inside. But before that, I'll show you, you have this little, little shed storage area here. Kind of a cheapy little shed. And then relatively recently replaced HVAC unit there. So let's take a look at the inside. Well, when we step in, you do have a neutral ceramic white. It's colored tile right on the entran entryway here. You have a staircase that takes you upstairs. Panning to the right, we have a formal, really, I guess this could be a formal living room with a fireplace right up front. You have your dining area right there off of the kitchen. And as you can see, they replaced the windows with these new upgraded double-paned windows, which is pretty nice. Now downstairs here, this is that office that I was mentioning that I believe HUD counted as a, as a bedroom. And it technically it could be a bedroom, but you have these two double doors that take you into this room. So it would be in kind of an awkward bedroom if you used it that way. The closet is missing the doors. They kind of open it up as kind of a storage space. But it could technically be a bedroom if you wanted. Now around the corner here, we have your full bathroom downstairs. So instead of a half bath, you have the single vanity commode and a shower and tub combo. Pretty basic setup bathroom number one. Continuing in, we have your family room here and dining room. So this is probably where most of your, your uh, living would possibly take place. You know, family, couch, TV. You could use this area right in this corner as your dining room because it's right off of the kitchen or use this space right here with a small table to make that your breakfast area. But you can see the kitchen has a number of countertop space, uh, a number of cabinets and decent countertop space. And then this little passage here takes you into probably what would be your formal dining and your formal living. You have the double doors here that take you outside. And then I did notice in here that there was a potential leak. As you can see, the ceiling does have some texture work that needs to be done. I believe that's under one of the bathrooms, so you want to get that investigated. So we make our way up the stairs, definitely replace the carpeting on the staircase. And we are upstairs. So when we get upstairs, if we turn to the left here, we have, I'm going to call this bedroom number one. Bedroom number one right up front. Needs a fresh coat of paint, needs some flooring. And if you wanted to, put some closet doors on this closet that they took out, or you can leave it that way. 
Down the hallway and to the left here, we have your indoor laundry room. So your washer and dryer connections are here upside, upstairs and inside. I think that's pretty nice. We have full bathroom number two here, which is a single vanity and a shower and tub combo. Pretty basic uh, bathroom setup. Down the hallway and directly straight, we have bedroom number two, which needs a fresh coat of paint and some flooring. And they also took out the closet doors. And then to the right over here, we have bedroom number three, the master bedroom. Now, again, I'm not counting that office downstairs as a bedroom. Otherwise, this would be bedroom number four. But in the master bedroom, looks like they did some repair work above this door. They have the master walk-in closet here inside the bedroom, inside the bathroom with your attic access. It's a decent size uh, closet. And then we have dual vanities. And they actually picked a pretty nice and ornate uh, vanity there for your dual vanities. And then we have a shower and tub combo in the bathroom and the commode in here. So that's about it. Beautiful home. Uh, as I said, it's about $8,000 underneath the county appraisal. It is eligible for the $100 down payment incentive, and you can even borrow money to do repairs. Let me give you a summary. Well, there you have it, 9826 Orange Vale. That's 9826 Orange Vale, a very nice four-bedroom, three-bath home. Now, remember, I'm not considering or I'm counting that office as a bedroom, so it could potentially be four bedrooms with three baths. It's about $8,000 underneath the county appraisal. Needs really just some minor cosmetic touching up, and it's listed right now for only $177,000. So if you're interested in this home or you have any questions, please call me at 210-706-0616. My name is Jonathan. I am the HUD King, and I want to help you find your castle.